Hello everyone, I'm out here at uh, Magnolia Beach doing some uh, boondock camping and I just want to give you a quick video of what it looks like around here. Uh, my camper is way down there. It's probably about, I don't know, half a mile down there or so. I'll walk down here to the area to do some fishing. Got a nice little fishing pier right here. Got some folks over there. Got some property right on the water. And uh, they got a really nice fishing pier down here at Magnolia Beach that you can walk to. They got one down on the other end too, I believe. As I pan around going away from Magnolia Beach, this is what you got down this way. Some private property. And then as you get on down there past the private property, there's another beach called Indianola that you can also do boondocking and dry camping down there. If you're gonna stay right here in the middle of it, between Magnolia Beach and Indiola, you have to pay to park there. They've got some RV spots that you can rent. So yeah, this is a nice place. The weather finally let up and I'm doing a little bit of fishing here. I got my fishing pole with the line in there. And you can see it's wide open bay and I hope to catch a couple fish, but I haven't been able to do much fishing because the weather just hasn't been conducive of it. You know, it's been really windy and rainy and nasty this winter, this Thanksgiving time. So anyway, just want to give you a, a sneak peek of what Magnolia Beach looks like. Well, I've been fishing here for, for about, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, no bites. No bites at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and head on back down to the camper. Well, as I'm heading back to the camper, this little guy's just kind of walking along with me here. He's keeping a close eye on me just in case. So here's a shot from the opposite side of the street, across the little street, paved street. Get off to the side there and it's Nice hard packed shell. There's the camper. And as you pan around this way, you can see one of my neighbors, another neighbor, several more neighbors. Going down, you can see the restrooms down there. I did go in the restrooms and check them out. They're not bad at all, pretty clean. Magnolia Beach, boondock camping for free. You gotta be sure to have everything you need to have power and so forth really nice zoomed in there from the fishing uh, pier you can see my camper way off down in there several other campers along the way and if I pan back set up here on the pier to do a little fishing anyhow let me get to fishing one last shot of the bay before I head back I've been fishing here for 30 40 minutes haven't got even a single bite at all so there's a place to go fishing out down on the other end a little canal down there I'm gonna head down there and do that now I'll be back in a few minutes gonna head down there to the other end here we are at the other end of Magnolia Beach. This is where you can stay right on the beach with your camper. You can see here at Blue Herring, right there, doing some fishing. It does smell like fish out here. Very fishy smell today. Light wind, seven to 10 miles an hour. And I'll just pan around a little bit. I'm gonna head down there toward the end Way down at the end, there's a canal. I'm gonna do some fishing down there. It is a very nice day today. 66 degrees. Blue herring took off. I guess he went, saw me coming. But there's a seagull. He's probably looking for a handout. Very beautiful place to stay. Almost to the fishing spot. This is a view from where I'm at. Pan around here and show you this guy. He's been here for at least two weeks because I came out here a couple weeks ago and uh, stayed.
stayed for a night or two, and he was here. But he's got his his horsies there. A couple of them. They just hang out behind those little ropes. I guess they know not to go go past those ropes. All right, I'm gonna head down here, right down there to where that little shack is there, and that's where I'm gonna fish. Here's the rules. I'm not going to read them to you, but if you want to read them, just click on pause and take a good read. It's right here at the entrance of the area for free camping. Here's your golf cart rules. A little something about sea turtles. Here's the back side of that golf cart rule panel. It's got some stuff here about Indianola and the area markers that are around here are pretty interesting. You should come out and check it out. It's pretty neat. I'm heading right over there, that little bridge. All right, I'm standing on the little crossover bridge, the bridge you can fish from. I'm gonna fish right here, check it out. I've heard this can be pretty good fishing right in here for redfish. So I'm gonna set up here for a minute, throw my line in, see what I can do. I'm gonna take a quick shot from this angle so you can see how I'm way down there, where you can see those pink cabanas, way past them, where I've got set up at. So I've walked probably about a mile. Very cool. Hey guys, check this out. I think those are pink flamingos. I'm not really sure. Their, their bills are, are flat. They have a flat bill, but they're pink. Check that out. Beautiful. Very pretty out here. Got another one right there. And then way down the way there, there's another one fishing. Look at him. He's hungry. And down this way, up there on the, right there coming the picture now, you got a blue herring sitting up there. You got it all rigged up here if you want to throw your line in and just leave it hanging there you can do it very cool the coolest thing though is those those birds i don't think they're fl flamingos but they're pink they might be they got a flat bill the bills are flat ah, he said get out yeah that's my area Get out of my way. All right, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna throw my line in here and see if I can catch some fishies. See if I can catch some dinner. I doubt it, but it sure is nice being out here anyway. Looky here what showed up to come visit. I mean, he just flew, he saw me here and he flew over saying, you know, I'm kind of hungry. You got anything for me? I don't have anything for you to eat, fella. Not a thing. Sorry, but he, he came from way over there where I was at. He came and he flew in, landed right here in front of me and looked at me like, don't you have anything for me? Hmm, guess not. What you got, buddy? What do you think? Do you need something to eat? Are you hungry? Well, I'll see if I can catch you something, all right? Just hang out right there. I guess he decided to go on out and swim a little bit because I wasn't giving him anything. He, he's keeping an eye on me though, just in case. Off he goes. Guess he realized I don't have anything. I'm getting out of here, this guy ain't got nothing. Let me go see if I can find somebody else. There he goes around. Hmm.
cool. Well, here I am still out here. I didn't catch anything yet. The water's just flowing so much. I think it's because of all the rain we had. The water's just flowing through here and I think it's really fresh water. No bites. You see that little lure right there? You can use that in fresh water or salt water. It catches fish either way. I've, I've experienced it. So I'm gonna head on over here and maybe fish a little more. And then I'm gonna head back down to camp. Look at all these jellyfish. I've never seen so many in one place. They're all up and down the whole shore. They're all hanging out right here for some reason. All the way down. Well, I'm gonna try and do a little fishing. Let's see how it goes. 